It's Tiffany. Um, sorry I didn't do my mini mixed media Monday last week. I was out of the country on vacation, but I'm back. And I wanted to share with you guys what I call my lunch break bag. Okay? So every day I go to work, well mostly every day, and then I get an hour lunch. If you get a 30 minute lunch, you, sh you could still be able to uh, do some type of creative exercise while you're on your 30 minute. But this bag right here came from Walmart. It's the perfect size. And we'll go through kind of the contents of what I think is essential or like a mini travel journal um, bag. So. First of all, I have a regular pen, just a ballpoint pen here. This says Paper Mate Profile 1 dot or 14, I can't tell what it says, but just a regular pen. I have a Posca white acrylic pen or marker, paint marker that I take with me in this bag. I have a Jane Davenport uh, aqua brush watercolor brush you don't have to have the same one these are just some ideas then I have a sharpie ultra fine point uh, permanent marker I have a stabilo all um, pencil that I take water reactive then in this little baggie I have three different erasers in here so I have like a gummy eraser, I have an extra soft eraser, and then I have a gum eraser. So I keep them in here because you know they can get like junk, messed up with little stuff. And then I have, this just happens to be a collage glue stick by Ranger. My preferred one is um, Uhu, but this is what I have in here. So. Then I have some tea bags <clears throat> because if you've been following me on my journey, Sadie, are you telling everyone hello? I hear you. They hear you too. You know I'm on camera, right? Anyway, so if you've been following my journey on Instagram, I am taking a class where you paint on tea bags. So, oh, I see one right here. So here's my tea bags I've been doing. And so some of these I actually did on my lunch. So, Anyway, I have that in there. Then this is by October Day. I think she goes by Television Trainwreck or something on Instagram. I'll link it below. But she made this travel journal for me. Um, I love it because it's very different from the other ones I've seen. It has a pocket here. That sometimes I'll stick like my tea bags or something small that I'm working on in there. And then it has um, more tea bags. <laughs> and then it has, um, I think I've done some of these in, I know I created this one in a video. So I'll link it up above. But um, I've just put some of my handmade, this one is watercolor paper. I put um, some of those just tests and swatches and inky goodness that um, I was practicing with. So that is... Um, yeah, I think this is cold pressed watercolor paper. It feels like it. So I have that in my little travel journal. I still have enough room for, to do two more. I just like it with just two. And then, of course, you can put your pen right there. And if you wanted to just take that, then that's enough for you to do some sketches with. Then I have my Derwent. All of these are not Derwent. But my charcoals. Um, I put some uh, just regular... Um, graphite pencils in there as well and then my little my little sharpener is either at the bottom of this bag or it's still in my cruise bag from the other day then I have this little wipey this is um actually just a what a little towel that I cut a piece off of but you could use muslin or whatever you wanted to so I have that in there you can get a lot in this little bag, can't you? And then I have, this is my watercolor tin. And I have another watercolor pencil or brush in there. The fine one by Jane Davenport. Um, these are all of my Daniel Smith watercolors. There. Then I have my Peerless watercolors that I made a little thing for. 
I'm missing one. But I just cut off a piece of the square and then put a clear piece of plastic in the middle and then kind of color coordinated them. But this was uh, like a, a blessing to have on the cruise that I just went on, on on our trip because I could just take this, my sketchbook, and my little bag with some pencils and I was good to go. And then I have a little smudge stick. So, um, I would take this sometimes, like if my husband is watching uh, football, it, football season, you know, just started roll tight to y'all. But if I want to like sit in the living room, which my art studio is like right there, I can see the living room. Um, but I could just go in there with these essentials and literally just sit on the couch and still have time for my creative play, but not be to a point where I feel like I have to take all of everything that I own in there. So, um, I'll try to find this little guy. I thought he was the perfect. He was in the cosmetic section of um, Walmart, but I think you can buy them online too. So I'll try to see if I can link that to it. You know, I do have way more supplies than what you see here, but I think it's a challenge, a fun challenge to try to minimize what you're using to see where that can take you as far as um, your art journey is concerned. So I really appreciate you, guys, appreciate you guys signing in. I hope you'll give me the thumbs up. And if you're not subscribing, why? You bring a little country into your life with this Southern draw and let me share my videos with you guys. So turn on those notifications, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget you can follow me also on Instagram at southerngals underscore designs. And you can see all the fun play that I'm doing pretty much every day um, and sharing the journey with me. So thanks guys. Until next time, take that lunch break bag with you and play every day. Till then, see you next time. Bye-bye.